Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, let's uh, let's wait one minute. Let's just, let's just wait one minute, please. Uh, please keep your microphone on off for right now. Okay, everybody, good evening. Uh, cameras on, please. Let's go ahead and take attendance. Okay. Ada Susana? Present, teacher. Ana Maria Chacon? Ana Maria? Okay, Ana Maria no está. Eh, Carla Ivania Cabrera. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Claudia Marisela Solano. Claudia Solano. Débora Raquel Soto. Present. Elvin Aguisabel. Lo dije bien. Present. No, Aguisabel. Aguis, Aguisabel. Aguisabel. Pero lo estás diciendo en inglés o en español. <laughs> It's the same. <laughs> okay. All right. Y, y, y te, te lo voy a decir en inglés. Aguisabel. <laughs> Aguisaba, so te lo voy a decir en inglés but, siempre. But no es I, es I. E. No es, what do you mean? I, like Indian? I. E. No, it's I. No. The, the, for, the, 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 cor, the, the for correct is ah. I. Is ah, okay. I. E for elephant. E. The first letter of your last name. The first letter of your last name is a E, not a A. Yeah. Ah, sí, fíjate que tenés que corregir esto porque esta lista es la que me pasaron. No okay. Sé si, no sé si tú sales así en algún documento oficial. Revisa eso. No. No. Esa... Okay. Tienes que, re hecho, tienes de, que revisar de, eso. De hecho, en la, en la plataforma me aparece correcto. Ok. All right, mm -hmm. very good. Tal vez fue error okay. de ellos. Ok. Ok. Fernando Ernesto. Present. And uh, Fatima Lopez. Present. Fatima Lopez. Thank you. Present. Jose Antonio Cubillas. Jose Antonio Present. Cubillas. Jose Saúl González. Present. Present. Carla Jené Amaya. Present. Luis uh, Umaña. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz. Present. Miriam Carolina. Sí, present teacher. Okay. René Alfonso Madrid. Present. Rina Álvarez. Rina Álvarez. Eh, Sabrina uh, Latín. Sabrina Latín. Present, present teacher. Okay. Ayer no pudo estar, ¿verdad? Sabrina, ayer no pudo estar, ¿verdad? No, no pude, dicho. Ok, ok, so, solo verificando. Sandra Alice Pero Sorto. Present. En William Alexander. Present. Ok. Oyentes, uh, Isela. Present. Karina. Here. En Jocelyn. Present. Ok. Eh, eh, hello, teacher. I'm here, Ana María. Sí, ya, ya lo había pasado. Okay, Ana está aquí. Uh, what about Carla, 
Ivania Cabrera. Present, present teacher. Okay, and Claudia Solano. Claudia Solano, no? Okay. All right, very good, excellent. Okay, so, ¿cómo están con los accesos? ¿Todos tienen acceso? Ahorita. Um, voy a poner el foro de la clase de ayer, lo voy a poner ahora durante la clase cuando tenga chance, ok. Eh, tuve un problema y no, pude, no lo pude hacer. Eh, ok, so voy a poner el foro, el foro de la, de, de la clase de ayer, ¿sí? ¿Recuerdan lo que hicimos? Can and can't, ok. So puede, puede que sea algo bien fácil, por ejemplo, eh, tres cosas que ustedes pueden hacer, abilities. Three things you can do, ok. I can type, I can fix a computer, whatever, right? So, va a ser algo bien fácil así, right? El, el foro de la clase de ayer, del 1, ¿sí? Y, y mañana voy a poner el foro de la clase 2. Ahí va a estar el video en la plataforma, también en nuestra lista de reproducción de YouTube. Ustedes tienen ese enlace en el correo informativo que les mandaron. ¿Todos están en el grupo de WhatsApp? ¿Ok? Yes. 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 Creo que ayer yeah. solamente Sabrina, tú no estabas ayer y, y Carlos Armando. Carlos Armando Duarte, ustedes dos no estuvieron ayer. Solo que sí. quiero preguntarles si ya han estado aquí en el programa con Insafor. ¿Conocen ustedes los lineamientos, los procedimientos? Sí, dice. Sí, sí, sí los conocemos. Ok, ok, perfecto. All right, excellent. Ok, very good. Uh, let me just open my, my computer. Okay, very good, guys. Okay, remember yesterday, right? We looked at can and can't, right? We, we use can to talk about abilities, right? For example, I can create blueprints. I can create blueprints. Repeat after me, I can organize my time very well. I can organize my Sorry. I can learn fast. I can learn fast. I can lead others. I can lead others. I can sell very well. I can, I can sell very well. 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 I can adapt to change. I can, I can adapt, adapt, adapt to, change. to change. I can be responsible. I can be I responsible. Can be responsible. I can multitask. I can, I can multitask. multitask. Okay, this is what we did yesterday, right? We made a list of can and can't. We shared them in the group. And then you listen to your classmates' abilities. Okay? Very good. So, los que no estuvieron ayer, esto es lo que hicimos, está en la primera lección del libro. ¿Todos están en el grupo de WhatsApp? Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. All right, excellent. Okay, let me go to our notes for today. Okay, thank you. All right, very good. So today we're gonna look at using could and would. Okay. Using could and would to talk about what you can bring to the company. Okay, so we are on lesson number two. 
Okay, let's start off with this question. Can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? What specific benefits do you provide to your company? Okay. So for example, imagine this. Imagine that you are in an interview. See, look at this picture here that I have. I have a picture here of an interview, right? What if they ask you the following? They ask you this question here. What are three ways that you can contribute to the company's success? Right? Imagine if someone asks you that question in an interview. What are three ways you can contribute to the company's success? So you can answer something like this, for example. You can say, I would be a good sales representative and help increase sales, okay? Okay. Let me make it bigger, hold on, I'm right there, okay? If someone asks you this question, what are three ways you can contribute to the company's success in a job interview? Number one, you can say, I would be a good sales representative and help increase sales. Do you see how I use would? Yeah. Right? To talk about something that I could do. See? I could be a good team player and motivate others. I could be organized and help save the company time and money. I would be a good leader for others because I can communicate well. Right? You're answering these questions. What are ways that you can contribute to the company's success? Right? Very good. So let's look at some vocabulary that you can use. Okay? With wood. Oh, first, let's look at wood. So I'm going to show you three words that you can use. Could is used to say that an action or event is possible, okay? Would is used to talk about possible or imagined situations, okay? Should is used for recommendations. For example, I think you should go to the doctor. Recommendations, okay? So no, one more time, could is to talk about possible events, eventos posibles. Would is to talk about imagined situations. And should is for recommendations. Okay. Esta no está en el libro. Should no está en el libro como parte de la lección, pero yo la incluí aquí porque va bastante, eh, tiene mucho que ver con esto. Should. Should is for recommendations. Okay. All right. Very good. So look at the examples here. All right. I could be a good sales representative. All right. Yo quiero este trabajo. ¿Por qué? Because I can be a good sales representative. ¿Por qué quiere este trabajo? Nunca le han preguntado eso en una entrevista. Why do you want this job? I could be a good sales representative. I would be a good sales representative. What is the difference? La diferencia es bien poco. Could is for talk about possible actions. Would is for imagine possibilities. Okay. It's not, it's, there's no, there's really no big difference, right? Mirale. Miren, fíjense la definición. Possible situations, imagine situations. No hay mucha diferencia, ¿sí? Para responder a esa pregunta. Why do you want this job? ¿Por qué quieres este trabajo? I could be a good sales representative. I would be a good sales representative. Okay. Very good. So you can use could or would. Okay. Now, one more time here. 
I would be a good sales representative and help increase sales. I could be a good team player and motivate others. I could be organized and help save the company time and money. I will be a good leader for others because I can communicate well. Remember this? This is vocabulary from yesterday. Okay. Lo que estuvieron aquí, ¿se acuerdan? Este vocabulario. Team player. Organized. Leader. Communicate well. Remember? Este vocabulario que vimos ayer. Yes. So solamente le estoy agregando could, right? Or would. I would be a good sales representative and help increase sales. All right. Let's look at some examples that you can use, some vocabulary or phrases that you can use. Okay. Let's look at this. Number one. Hold on. Number one. Help the company save time. I could help the company save time. Right? ¿Cómo puedo contribuir a la empresa? ¿sí? I could help the company grow in other markets. I can help the company expand in other markets. I could help the company make more revenue. Tener más ingresos. Make money for the company. Okay. I would be able to increase customer satisfaction. Okay. ¿Cómo puedo contribuir yo a la empresa? ¿Sí? I could assist customers effectively. I can increase demand for the company's products. I can help the company's brand. I can help market the company's brand. I would be able to help with, yeah, you step pueden agregarle cualquier cosa. I will be able to help with the marketing department. I will be able to help with sales. You can say that. Okay. Otra forma para contribuir. You can say here, I could help increase sales. I could help generate more business for the company. I can be a great asset to the company. I could be a great manager. Okay. Questions? Solo le estoy agregando could or would, ¿sí? I could. Solo le agrego ahí, ¿sí? Or I would. Uh, en una conversación no mm -hmm. se sabría la diferencia si ocupamos could or would es mm -hmm. prácticamente casi que lo mismo hay una línea bien fina mm -hmm. nada más sí, se entendería una... lo mismo mm -hmm. si yo Correct. menciono uno o otro con lo mismo okay. mm -hmm. yeah for example una pregunta una pregunta de entrevista why should we hire you por qué deberíamos contratarlo why should we hire you I could be Uh, uh, for example, here, I could help the company save money, or I would help the company save money. Casi lo mismo, ¿sí? I could help the company save money, or puedo usar word también, right? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Can be I will I will be a good um, a good employee. Yes. Yes, it is okay? I would, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would be a good employee. I would employ, yeah, thank you. Or you can say I could be a good employee. The same. The only difference, look, remember that the definition said que era como para algo imaginario, ¿sí? ¿Cuál es la que más como para imaginación? Would. Right? This is could is for possible actions, but there's not a big difference. See, no hay una diferencia muy grande, see? Okay. So all you have to do here is add the vocabulary, okay? All right. So le voy a mandar este, este cuadrito, se lo voy a mandar ahí en WhatsApp, all right? So you can have more vocabulary, right? 
uh, you can use the vocabulary from yesterday too. Okay, we're going to go back now. Let's go back to the book, right? Ya, ya pusimos un fundamento. Let's do the book now. Let's work on the book. Let's do exercise number one. Can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? What specific ben benefits do you provide to your company? Right? Y me gustaría que le hicieran a su compañero esta pregunta. Why should we hire you? <laughs> right? ¿Por qué deberíamos de contratarlo? ¿Sí? Porque es una pregunta muy común. ¿sí? Why should we hire you? Okay. Questions? All right. Let's go. And I want you to share opinions. Okay. Use could and would and the vocabulary that I gave you to talk about ways that you contribute or you can contribute to the company. Questions? Preguntas? No, teacher. All right, I'm going to put the picture there in groups. All right, um, I need everybody to participate in the groups, please. Uh, I'm going to make groups of three. Yes. Ah, sí, es cierto. Ok. Ahorita lo estoy descargando. Sí, porque sí, es mejor así tenerlo completo. Ok. Vaya, lo tengo. Estamos abriendo. Teacher, una consulta. En la, en la pregunta, la última pregunta que quiere que hagamos, ¿verdad que ahí eh, el verbo llevaba D? No sé si puso solo hire y era con D. Um, well, no, it's present. Oh, so we'll see. It's ah, present. okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Why should we hire you? You're, you're talking about now. Okay. In the present. Uh, we are, this exercise, the question there, it's in uh, lesson number two. What page? Uh, the page is Number 11. 11. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Yo lo tengo. Ok, Miguel. Sí, me parece. Can you name three ways you contribute to the company mission? Ok. I could, I don't know, I could train and start the new processes, for example. Mm -hmm. um, I could help the company increase sales. And I could I could learn new processes. Okay. Okay. And you, uh, can you name three ways you contribute the mission of the company? Okay. Uh, I could improve the information inform inform informatical informatic man well, information systems of the company. Okay. Uh, I could uh, lead the IT department. Uh, I could uh, uh, develop new software or new uh, specific system for the your operation, their, their operations. Right? Okay. okay. You can use the word improve. Improve is mejorar. Right? I can improve the company's information system. 
But what the specific benefits do you provide to your company? Sí, prácticamente la pregunta, las dos creo que significan Same. respuestas iguales. Similar. Uh, did you remember the question that I did? Or like yes. in a job interview? Ah. Why? Why should why, we hire you? Why should, why should we mm -hmm. hire you? Uh, why should we hire you? Uh? Mm -hmm. what, 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 what uh, should, uh, we hire you? Uh -huh. I don't know. I could teach spreadsheets to my partners. Teacher, tengo una duda. Para decir compañeros de trabajo es que a veces uno dice partners. Co-workers? No, co-workers. Co-workers co is correct. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Co-workers, okay. I could teach a, a scripture to my co-workers. Um, I could I could provide the, the systems. Okay. 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 Nice to start. Yeah. Why shall we hire you? Hmm. Hmm. You mm. should hire me. No, sorry. No, this is a difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> this moment, I yes. not. Uh, I am not. No, me contrataría because sick, very sick. <laughs> okay, look at the vocabulary that I sent you in the group. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just go to our teacher. Okay. I will be a good employee. Mm -hmm. I can help the company to increase uh, and to promote her mission. What else? Mm -hmm. What about you, Cardivania? Um... I find the vocabulary, guys. Find the vocabulary in in my calls because it uh, will be a good element for your company. It uh, will will help to have good relationship with customers and. Um, will help to in the organization. Okay, you can help in the organization, okay? Mm -hmm. How? You can help with the, the process, you can help with sales, you can help with customer service. Well, how in you that In the, in the, um, Mm -hmm. por, por mi cargo, in the, the process, in the processes, processes, in, in the processes uh, for customer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Okay. Look at the vocabulary. I put a lot of different things there. Mm -hmm. Help the company save money. I can help the company grow in other markets. I can assist customers. I can increase mm -hmm. sales. I could, I could help. ¿Cómo se dice incrementar, teacher? How do you say incrementar? Help increase. Increase, okay. Mm -hmm. it is, uh, I could help increase sales. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Uh, sometimes you can say, I have sales experience. I have experience in sales, right? Tal vez tienen experiencia en alguna área. You say, I have experience in. Uh, teacher, in we can have, uh, be, I, uh, I will be a good employee uh, because mm -hmm. I am responsible. I am organized, uh, mm -hmm. I am a very enthusiastic person. Can we yeah. add this? Yeah, you can okay, say that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's uh, that's more like your your character, right? 
you're talking about your character personality. your personality mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay thank you mm. uh, for example um I call the a good assistant to maintenance okay. uh, because I can be responsible. Um, I can I can be create create creative creative. Yeah, I can um, be creative. I can adapt to change. Mm -hmm. Um, I can organize, organ, organ, organize, organize, organize. Mm -hmm. I can be proficient in in the in the organization for mm -hmm. teams eh, or, or in organizar los equipos. ¿sí? Okay. Mm -hmm. Or organize teams. I can organize, organize the teams. Organize team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Carlibania. ¿Quién no ha pasado? Carlibania. Okay. I can check. Check the inventory. I can create accounting statement. Mm -hmm. or statement accounting. No sé cómo you, se diría. Accounting statements. Accounting statement. Okay. <clears throat> you can use, remember uh, to use, uh, you can use could and would. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could. 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 Mm -hmm. It's I like what, it's like for example a uh, the can and could right uh, in la forma como lo podemos usar right it's like for example I can sell eh, estoy diciendo que yo tengo estabilidad algo que yo pueda hacer sí es lo que usamos ayer te acuerdas ayer hablamos con can and could right ayer usamos can and can't sí eso es para hablar de mis habilidades ¿sí? Um, mm -hmm. En la pregunta, eh, ¿cómo podrías contribuir a la empresa? Entonces, ahí podemos usar could or would. ¿Por qué? Porque es algo como imaginario, ¿sí? Me estoy imaginando algo, eh, la forma que yo puedo contribuir. ¿Sí? So, okay. Entonces, allí, allí usamos could or would. Siempre sería I could. I could. Uh -huh. For example, eh, ¿por qué deberíamos de contratar, contratarte? Why should we hire you? Right? Entonces, ahí yo puedo decir, oh, I could increase sales. Right? Hablando como algo imaginario, ¿sí? Como algo que podría hacer. No algo que yo puedo hacer, ¿sí? So, can, el que usamos ayer, es para hablar de habilidades que yo tengo. I can okay. type, I can type, I can create reports, I can lead others. Pero aquí estamos hablando como más imaginario, ¿sí? So usamos would. Or could. Okay. okay. All right, very good. Thank you.
Okay, very good. Um, so, hicimos preguntas, right? Why should we hire you? Okay. Aquí hay otra pregunta en el chat. How could you contribute to the company? Look at the question in the chat. How could you contribute to the company? Ahí puedo usar could and would. Okay. How could you contribute to the company? Okay. Very good. I want to do a little okay. practice with you. All right. We're going to do a, a, a grammar exercise together. Could, remember, is for possible situations, possibility. So events that are possible. Would is to talk about a imagined situation. Okay. Would tiene como más sentido como imaginario, ¿sí? I would, if I was the boss, I would. Should is for recommendations. I think you should go to the doctor. Okay. All right. So let's look at the following exercise. Let me make it bigger. Okay. Number one, which one am I going to use? What do you say? Could, would, or should? I think blank, mind your own business and stop gossiping. Would. Good. I do. I you think should. you. It's a recommendation here, right? Yes. Estoy como regañando una persona. Should. I Estoy think you should. 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 Recommendation. Should. I think you should mind your own business and stop gossiping. What is gossiping? <laughs> gossiping. Sí, es como estar hablando de otras personas. Uh -huh, los Gossiping. Okay. Correct. Very good. Number two. Miriam has not turned up yet. She blank be here any minute. Uh, could. Could. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, she just, she, she could, could be here any minute. Mm -hmm. She could be here any minute. Very good. Number three. Ah, a, wait, vocabulary here. Turned up. ¿Qué quiere decir turned up? Miriam has not turned up yet. Es como que no ha pasado por acá. No ha pasado por acá, no ha llegado. No. No ha llegado. Miriam has not turned up yet. She could be here any minute. Okay. Very good. Number three, when he was in his teens, Billy blank stay up all night playing computer games. Would? Would. Would. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Would. Okay. Remember, would is in the past too, right? Something that Solia said yo esto, right? Uh -huh. Would. Okay. Yes, when he was in his teens, Billy would stay up all night playing yeah. video games. Okay. Very good. Le voy a dar una una frase extra que no no está aquí en el libro, pero es used to. Nunca han escuchado esta frase? Used to. Yes. Right? Algo que solía hacer. So, esa también puede encajar acá. Look. When he was in his teens, Billy used to stay up all night playing video games. So también, esa puede encajar, used to. Okay. Number four, teacher, blank, you please explain to me the use of the present perfect continuous. Cool. Cool. Yes, cool. good. Okay. Number five, Norman promised he blank never behave in that horrible way again. Yes. But it has to be negative. 
Wouldn't. 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 In, in negative. Wouldn't never. Ah, no, 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 because it has never, no. Porque ya tiene la palabra never, mm -hmm. y never es negativo. Mm -hmm. Si no tuviera la palabra never, entonces sí, tendría que ser negativo. Okay. Very good. What is this word? Behave. What is behave? El comportamiento. Comportamiento. ¿eh? La forma de comportarse. Very good. Number six. Blank, the boss arrived before me. Tell him I have had an accident. Mm, cool. Would the boss arrive? Uh, it's cool. Would. 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 It's a question. A possible or imaginary. Possible or imagination. Mm -hmm. Look, también se entendería un poco mejor like this. If the boss arrives before me, tell him I have had an accident. Mm -hmm. okay. so, eh, it depends. You know. Okay, number seven. It is absolutely necessary that this translation could, could be done today. Should, could. remember, could, would, or should. Would, would, or should? Should recommendation? Yeah, like a recommendation, mm -hmm. like a strong recommendation. Mm -hmm. Okay, number eight. My sister was a genius. At four, she uh, would. She could. Could. She could. 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 She could already speak four foreign languages. Okay. Okay. Number nine, what blank you like to do tonight? What would? Mm -hmm. What would? What would you like to do tonight? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Questions, right? Number 10 is a question also. What blank you do if you were offered an important position in Greenland? Would. Would. Mm -hmm. What would you do? Esta es una frase bien común en inglés. What would you do? Mm -hmm. What would you do? Quisieras. What would you do? Okay. Very good. So this is the different use, right? Of could and would and should. Okay. Very good. Okay, let's go back now to the vocabulary that we were doing, okay? How many people have questions with the vocabulary? Let's define some of it, okay? Now, aquí hay bastantes palabras de negocio, business words, okay? So, I want you to, if you have any questions, tell me, okay? Help the company save money. Everybody understands that? I could help the company save money. What is save? Ahorrar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Help the company grow in other markets. Crecer. Grow. What is grow? Crecer. Crecer. Right? Crecer. Help the company grow in other markets. Maybe Crecer you want to. Yes. Very good. Number three. Help the company make more revenue. What is revenue? Make a recovery. Revenue. Los ingresos? Yes, yes. Money. <laughs> money, ingreso. money. Ingresos. Money. Hacer más ingresos. Mm -hmm. Money. Okay. Very good. Number four. Be able, I, I would be able to increase customer satisfaction. Será capaz de incrementar. Incrementar la satisfacción del cliente. Yes. Aumentar yes. la satisfacción del cliente. Correct. Mm -hmm. So, I would be able to. Okay. That's something that I can do for the company, right? Okay. Next, assist customer effectively. 
What is effectively? Effectivamente. Right, correct. I can assist or I could assist the customers effectively. Next, I could increase demand for the company's product. Products. What is demand? Demanda. Demanda. I can increase demand for the company's products. Correct, correct. Next, help market the company's brand. Help market the company's brand. What is brand? Marca. Marca. La marca. Mm -hmm. Help market. Ayudar al mercado. No, ayudar a, a que se dé a conocer la marca. Help market the cup, the company's brand. Okay. I would be able to help with, and then you have to you have to finish here, right? Okay, podrían ayudar. What would you how would you help the company? Okay. Very good. Number on oh, next. <laughs> Okay, help increase sales. Incrementar la venta. Sales. Help generate more business for the company. Yes, crear, generar. Be a great asset to the company. What is an asset? Un activo, ser buen activo, algo. Un buen activo, sí, es como algo, algo que tiene valor, ¿sí? Yo tengo valor para empresas, ¿sí? Puedo ser una pieza clave. Ok, and finally, be a great manager. I could be... Un gran gerente. I could be a great manager. Ok, very good. Questions? Questions about the vocabulary? Ok, let's go to the book and look at the conversation now. Okay, let's look at the book and do the conversation. Okay, conversation in the book. I'm going to read it. This is a conversation between uh, Mr. Andre and Kurt. Kurt. Andre and Kurt. Kurt. All right, so let me put the name here of the two people. Uh, Andre and Kurt. Okay. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look. Look, can you bring to this company as an employer? Aquí le falta una palabra. What? What can you bring to this company as an employee? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects, okay? <laughs> Let's define some of the words. How comfortable do you feel? What is comfortable? Comfortable. Comodo, yes, right? Comfortable. How comfortable do you feel working in this area? Pretty comfortable. What is pretty? Uh, muy como muy cómodo muy cómodo yeah like saying uh, cómodo it, it's a es un intensificador intensifier <laughs> right uh, for example have you heard the word uh, I'm doing very good uh, yeah she she's so beautiful okay so it is intensifier 
especial de nuestro sistema de inteligencia de negocios. Más que todo, dar a conocer el objeto. Microphone, microphone, alguien tiene micrófono. Okay, very good. I'm sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I would be a great asset in the company. Sí, recuerden que yo yo puse esto en el vocabulario, sí. Recuerden. I would be a great asset in the company. Why? Because of my experience in the construction industry. Okay? Very good. So, we're going to practice this conversation and I want you to change the conversation, right? I want you to practice it, but then you're going to change it. ¿Qué pueden cambiar? La respuesta aquí. Y esta respuesta también, ¿sí? ¿Con qué? Con el vocabulario que nosotros vimos ahorita, ¿sí? Now, look. You have to explain why. Explain why. I would be a great asset in the company because, okay? Because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects, okay? What is he talking about? My experience, my experience, mm -hmm. my experience, my experience. So, right, voy a regresar a, al, al otro vocabulario, okay? Necesito regresar ahí. Look, okay? So you can you can do this, right? I would be uh, I could help increase sales. Okay? Por qué? Because of because. my experience in sales. You have to explain, give me a reason why, okay? Por qué, right? So, a, a lo que ya construimos, ¿sí? Usando could and would, más el vocabulario, le voy a agregar el por qué, because, okay? Because of my experience in sales, okay? Hagamos otra, okay? I would be a great manager because, ¿por qué? I don't know, because my experience, right? Because my experience, ya yeah, ustedes tienen que llenar el resto, ¿sí? Because my experience in, in lo que sea, whatever, right? Because my experience in my other job. Okay. Another one. One more. Let's try another one. Okay. I could help the company grow in other markets because. Okay. Why? Why do you say that? I could help the company grow in other markets because. Ustedes allí agregan la información, ¿sí? Okay. Very good. So, a esto, a este vocabulario, ya le agregamos could and would. Ahora ustedes le van a agregar la frase because my experience. Okay. ¿Dónde lo van a hacer? En la conversación, ¿sí? So, lo siento que tengo que regresar. Aquí está la conversación, ¿sí? So, esa parte la pueden agregar aquí y aquí. Okay? Change it. Cámbienla. Que sea de ustedes. ¿sí? I would be a great manager because my experience in other jobs. Okay? I could help the company grow in new markets because I have worked in marketing before, okay? Ustedes ahí tienen que terminar esa parte, ¿sí? All right, questions? All right, so practice the conversation. 
but then you're going to change the conversation, okay? Now, before we go into groups, uh, let's do attendance. Let's do attendance quickly. Number one, uh, Ada Susana. Present, teacher. Ana Maria Chacon. Present, teacher. Ana Maria. Present. Ahí está. Carla Iviana. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Carlos Armando. Present. Lo vi por ahí. Ok, ahí está. Claudia Solano. Present. Débora. Ahí está Claudia. Ok. Yes. Débora Raquel Soto. Present. Ok. Elvin. El Guasibal. <ríe> Me cuesta tu nombre, sorry. No te preocupes. Te voy a decir Martínez. Ok, present. <ríe> Fátima López. Present. Fernando Ernesto. Present. José Antonio Cubías. José Antonio Present. Cubías. José Saúl González. Present. Carla Jené Amaya. Present. Luis Umaña. Orellana. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz. Present. Miriam Carolina. Miriam. Present. Ahí está. Eh, René Alfonso Madrid. Present. Lina Álvarez. Present. Sabrina Latín. Sabrina, por ahí estaba. La vi anteriormente. Pero creo que tiene problema, Lí. Ok. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto. Present. And William Alexander. Ok, thank you guys and uh, oyentes, Isela, Karina, and Jocelyn. Here, okay. All right, very good, guys. All right, so you have 15 minutes to practice the conversation, right? Después ustedes cambian roles, ¿sí? All right, okay. you're going to practice a conversation. I'm going to listen in each group and I'm going to check. All right, let's go to groups. Hello, Debora and um, Karina. Uh, accept the invitation, please. Go to the group. Okay, guys. So, eh, tenemos cuatro personas, pero pueden cambiar, ¿sí? Dos y dos. You guys yeah. can practice. Okay. okay. All right. So, you have the vocabulary and you have the the book, right? Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put the picture there in WhatsApp. Si alguien no tiene el libro o no puede ver el libro a la misma vez. Okay. Okay. Who, who's going to go first? First person. Uh-huh. Sam. Uh, Sam. Uh, have comfortable, 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 teacher. How do you say that? Comfortable. 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 Okay. 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 Have comfortable. 
do you feel Comfort working food. in the salt area? Very comfortable. Sir, with my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am, I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employees? Employees. I could be a great an asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. This is great. It sounds great. It sounds great. Great. Yes. And, and because of my experience, as a manager, I could be a creator in our project. Okay. Ada. Pero y no van a cambiar ellas aquí. Perdón. Que no sería bueno que terminen ellas cambiando y de ahí seguimos nosotros. Okay. Vaya. Eso no sé. Okay. Entonces. Yeah. Yeah. How comfort, comfortable, comfortable, comfortable do you have, do, do you feel work, working in the same area, area? Very comfort, comfortable. Sure, with my experience, I can say this will be great mm -hmm. opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, uh, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great assistant, assist in the company because of, of my experience in the, in the pharmacy. Okay. No. Uh -huh. In what? <laughs> and the pharmacy. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> now you can change it. Traten de ustedes de hacer la suya. It sounds great. Yes, I am be careful with my mis my experience as my as manager. I could be of great great her in large project. Um, ahí tendría que cambiar, va. Uh -huh. Yes, no, I no could be of in crying in crazy cells. In crazy cells. Finish. Okay, finish. Adam. Okay. Adam. Sandra. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, Kira, how comfortable do you feel working in the salt area? Really comfortable. Sir, sir, with me experience, I can say this would be a uh, great opportunity. I am sure about that look. What can you, sorry, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I could be a great asset in the company. Okay, Elvin. Start again the, conver uh, the conversation. If, if, you, if you want with me, no problem. And that change the 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 the, the paragraph. Yes, uh, I can ask him you. I'm sorry, my connection is terrible. Oh. Okay, Elvin. How? Okay. Uh, where do you work? 
no están siguiendo Elvis. la conversación. No, no, no estoy siguiendo, solo, solo, ah. solo necesito saber para seguir la conversación. Ok, ok. Uh, I, I work uh -huh. I, I work in Fruit of the Loom. Uh, ah, yeah. ya. Uh, Fruit of the Loom. Fruit of the Loom. Okay. Uh, I am in general. Uh, well. I am in the engineer conversion. Okay, okay. Uh, Kier, how comfortable do you feel in the planning area? Uh, my, no, in, in my area is engineer, it, I create the new, the, the new product. Okay, how do you feel in, in the development okay. product? But but uh, this is more information than uh, read the, the conversation. No, solo le tiene que cambiar una parte, sí. Yeah, la yeah. parte. La, la conversación es completa. Solo cambiamos la parte de de I could be great uh, a sense in the company because mm -hmm. experience. Is, yeah. Correct. Okay. Okay, sí. you, you start. Ah, creo que, me, creo que, me, que me, me estoy yendo un poquito más adelante. Para saber yeah. si quieres hacerlo tú. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. But who, who read the conversation? You, Karina, or Miriam? Y si quieres hacerlo con Miriam. Okay. Are you okay, Miriam? And they change the conversation? Okay. Okay. Uh, who? Andre or Kier? Andre. You? Okay, you're sir. Okay. Here, how comfortable do you feel working in the salary car? Pretty, pretty, pretty comfortable. Miss, with my experience, I can say this will, will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that look can you bring to this company as employer. I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction in, in the in the industry. It's so great. Sorry, 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 the, the, this change. I I I could be uh, I, I could help the company create a new a new proof because my experiences in another department. Okay, it's all right? Yes, yes. Okay. because my experience in the, uh, my, uh, yes, and because of my experience as an engineer, I could be um, held the company uh, sells uh, other products. Mm, okay. Okay, thank you. I change, okay. change the, change the, the, I am under and you occur. Okay. 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 Um, Miriam, how comfortable do you feel working in the service area? Are you comfortable? I don't know what is the, what is the difference. Teacher, yes, hello? hello? I can say, say, I can say comfortable instead of com ah. comfortable. Conf the the R is silent. So you say conf, comfortable, conf, and then double, comfortable, conf, si, only F. Si digo comfortable, no. it's wrong. It's wrong. Okay. Wrong. <laughs> Co eh, la, la R, la R es, es casi no, es silenciosa, ¿sí? No se escucha. Comfortable, comfortable. Comfortable. Okay. 
For example, si alguien te pregunta, oh, ¿estás I'm cómodo? Cool. Are you comfortable? comfortable? Are you comfortable? Okay. Okay, let's continue with William. Okay, William, how, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Um, pretty comfortable. Yes. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. Change the conversation. Yeah, I think that we need to change the, the conversation in the, in the ah, next okay. part, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? <clears throat> um, I will be a great asset in the company. Uh, because of my no, actually actually we need to change that information for or information right yes change it for your information to be okay okay uh, i could be um i could be organized and help save the company time and money because of my experience in the industry. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, it sounds great. Where else? Um, it could be a... Yes, and because of my experience as a, as a leader. Leader. Excellent. Uh -huh. I could be a great help in some projects. Great. Okay. So, Jocelyn, no sé si. Live program TV. Program? Of, of TV. Oh, of TV. TV. Of TV. Okay. okay. Quest questions? Hi, teacher. Uh, teacher, any oh. questions? Uh, huh? Nosotros pusimos que sea un buen comunicador. O sea, tiene que ver con experiencia de TV. Pero en la última palabra... Eh, sería como experiencia in TV o en TV. No sé si te, eh, experiencia en qué? Experiencia en la televisión. Ah, in TV. Sería, experience in my TV. My experience in TV. TV. Ah. Uh -huh. Las letras en, en inglés, ¿sí? TV. In TV. Uh -huh. Okay. Sí, porque se refiere al trabajo, ¿verdad? No al cajón en sí. Cuando es el cajón, me imagino que es on. Sí, va, sí, sí, sí. Ok. ¿Quién quiere presentar? Eh, ¿Cómo presentar? ¿Qué eh, hablar? Sí. Ajá, dos personas. Ajá, two people. Ah, vaya, mí. No sé quién dice. Como. Vaya, la de Kirk. René es. Ajá, es Kirk. Ok. Kirk, ¿cómo confortable do you feel working in the safe area? Muy confortable. Eh, muy confortable, sí. Why my experience, I can say. This will be, will be a great communicator in the company because of my experience in TV. I am sure okay. about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as, as an employee? I do. I do. Ay, no creo que me equivoqué, era la segunda, la que tenía que decir. Espérate, otra vez, espérate. 
Oh, okay. Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh -huh. Go. Mark. Empezar tour. Okay. Here. How comfortable mm -hmm. do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable. Here. What my experience? I can say this will be a good leader for others because I can communicate communicate it well. I am sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? Uh, I will be a great communicator in the company in the company because of my experience in TV. Good. It, it's on great. Yes, I'm because of my experience as a manager in ways about about to be of great programs in the mm -hmm. Okay. Great, great. Looks good. Uh huh. Nice job. You did it. All right. We're going to go back right now, guys. Let's go back to the session. Okay. Very good. Bye. Thank you. La punta de Fatima Sierra. Yes, yes, Ah, okay. Good job. Okay, hello everyone. All right, excellent. Let me show you uh, quickly some examples that I did here. You guys can use. Okay, let me show you some examples, right? So this is the vocabulary that we use, right? So we're going to add uh, would or could, and then we're gonna add the phrase because my experience, look at this. I, I could be a good manager because my experience in other departments. I could be a good manager be a good because manager. my experience. I could be a good manager because my experience in other departments. Excellent. I will be a good employer. Uh, no, employee, not employer. Employee, employee because of my experience in customer service. I, I will be a good employee, employee because of my experience in customer service. Customer service. Employee. Employer. Okay, one more. I could help the company grow in other markets because of my experience in digital marketing. I could, I could help the company grow in, in other, other markets market because my experience in digital marketing. Okay. So, ¿qué estoy haciendo? Just adding because my experience, and then, okay. Estoy usando could and would, right? Uh, sorry, here sería could. I could help the company increase revenue because of my experience in sales. I could help the company increase revenue because of my experience in sales. Good, right? Could or would, the same. All right, very good. Repeat again. Sorry, teacher. Can you repeat again the words revenue? Sorry. Revenue. Revenue. Oh, revenue. Revenue. Thank you. I would be a great asset to the company because of my experience working in big profits. I will, be I will be a great asset to the company because of my experience working in big projects. I would, I would help increase customer satisfaction because of my experience in quality control. 
I will help increase customer satisfaction because of my experience in quality control. Very good. I could help the company generate more business because of my experience with people in the industry. I could help the company generate more business because of my experience with people in the industry. What is the, the correct pronunciation? Industry or industry? No, industry. Industry. Industry, industry. yeah. Industry. Industry. Okay. Industry. What happens? What happens is this. Look, let me see. Let me see. Let me just get my dummy lapis. Okay. This is what I need. Look. The problem is, is, is this. Look. In es bien fuerte. Okay. Industry. 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 How many syllables are in industry? In. In. Thus. Thus. Three. 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 Three syllables, right? Industry. But one of them is going to be very strong. Industry. See? Tienes que fortalecer una de las syllables. La primera. Industry. Industry. Okay. Industry. Yeah, so I yet they fortalecer una de las syllables. Eh? Okay. Okay. Very good. Let me show you. Let me see. One more. No, that's it. Finish. Do you see my examples, right? Yeah. You guys can use yeah. the same. Okay. All right. Let's go and uh, continue with the next section. We're going to have a, a, a good conversation that we're going to do after. All right. What would be some benefits of having Kurt in the company? Kurt, benefits. What did he say? He said he would be a great asset in the company be because. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and this he is. Will be a great help in life projects. Okay, good. So this is what he says, right? Should do you think they should hire him? Deberían de contratarlo. Kurt. Mm -hmm. Yes. Se merece una oportunidad. Okay. What would be some benefits of having Kurt in the company? Yeah. What can be some benefits? Mm -hmm. well, he has experience because, in large, because, uh -huh. large projects. It's because he has experience in construction mm -hmm. industry okay very good number two do you consider that experience is important do you think yes, experience is important yes 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 it is yes it is experience more important. Ah, no puedo escribir. Important than character. Do you think it's more important than character? Depends the the the, the position. Okay. Is experience more important than character? Which one do you think is more important? The attitude of the person or their experience? Both. Both? Okay. Very good. So you say both. Mm -hmm. Si las dos son importantes, you can say both are important. Both are important. Both are important. Okay. Very good. Okay. Let's go to the next section. Okay, using could and would. All right, for example, I would be a great asset. I could be a great help in the sales department. Okay, let's see if we can complete the sentences. What do you think is number one? Okay. I could be a opportunity to study in a barber. It would be. Tiene que ser would be, right? 
I would be. be opportunity. It, creo que es ahí, es it. Ah, it's, it, it's yes, it, correct. It's, it's, it's opportunity. It, it, will be. it would be. Mm -hmm. It will be a great opportunity. A great opportunity to, 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 to study. To a broad. A study. It will be a great opportunity yeah, to study. It will study. be a great opportunity to study abroad. To study abroad. What is abroad? What is study abroad? In el extranjero. Yes, correct. In el extranjero, correct. In another country. Mm -hmm. Very good. Number two. I could be. Uh, employees uh, could be. Employees could be. Or, or employees. Or employees could be. Employees could be. Or employees could be. No. Could be benefit beneficial mm -hmm. for a training. Our employees can be beneficial for a training. No sería a training could be teacher. Sí, 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 es cierto, es cierto. Creo que mm -hmm. eso sería. A training could be uh, yes. training could be beneficial, beneficial for our employees. A training, uh -huh. a training could be beneficial. For yeah. our, our employees. Our employees. Un entrenamiento podría ser más. Para el. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Number three. Working less. Working less. Working less. Working less. Working Would be a benefit. For working. Working less. Would be. Working less. Would be. Would be Another, another, benefit. Benefit. Or, another benefit. benefit. Another benefit. Benefit. Less hours. Less hours. Less hours. Less hours. Yeah. Would be okay, less hours will be another benefit. Another benefit. Another benefit working. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number four. Mm -hmm. We can ask. Mm -hmm. Waking up will be no, no. Mm -hmm. so usually we need a subject. Mm -hmm. subject. Uh, a star? Star. Okay. Would be staff. So staff. A staff, staff would be happy. Would be happy to, to, to have to have to have a option. A weekend option. Option of weekend off. Weekends off. Weekends off. Weekends off. Mm -hmm. Right. Le agregué una palabra. The. Madre. Mm -hmm. Staff. No. Uh, staff would be. Uh, happy. Good. Ouch. Good. No falta. Ah, no falta good. 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 Weekend. Okay, will be. Good. Uh, okay. Man, that one's that uh, one's difficult. To have a good option. Ah, okay. To have a good option. To have a good option. Weekends. Of weekends off. Okay. All right. Very good. One more. Mm -hmm. To have, a, have good. a good option. Mm -hmm. A good option. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, very good. Number five. Maria. 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 Call me. Call me. Call me. Call me. Call me. Could be. Help. 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 Um, help. Great help. No, great help. 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 In the department. 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 In the
No, inventory. Inventory department. Ahí no sería could be of. María could be of. Great. Uh, hay un off ahí, sí. Off, pues. yeah. Could be of. Could be of. Great. Okay, well, yes. Could be mm -hmm. of. A department. Mm -hmm. Correct. Could be of a great hub. Inventory mm -hmm. department. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. Excellent. Right. Now let's go now to the conversation that we're going to do. We're going to change groups. Okay. We're going to switch, change groups. Mm -hmm. I want you to prepare a two minute presentation about the benefits you would bring to a new company if you had the opportunity to work in it. Okay. So I'm going to say grupo grandes para que tengan aud audience, para que tengan audiencia. Okay. <laughs> So, ustedes van a presentar y los otros van a escuchar y después los otros van a presentar, etc. Right? Okay. Okay, so you're going to create a two-minute presentation. Okay? Explaining the, the benefits you would bring to a new company if you had the opportunity to work on in it. Okay? So, what are the benefits that, that you can bring? Okay? Let's talk about some benefits, right? What are benefits for the company? I don't know, a uh, more, clinic more money, right? More revenue, more revenue for the company, okay? Benefits, growing, okay? And what else, benefits? More employees, benefits for the company? More employees, okay? That can be benefits for the company, right? So you have to explain what benefits you bring and why, okay? So you could do this. Pueden usar esta frase, look. Um, I could help the company, right? Yeah, you put in a benefit. That's the benefit. I can help the company benefit, whatever the benefit is, explain the benefit, because of my experience in blah, blah, blah. And then you explain, right? I could help the company put the benefit there, benefit, because of my experience in blah, blah, blah. Okay. Very good. Very similar to what you already did. Bastante similar a la conversación que practicamos, ¿sí? Es lo mismo. The same thing, right? The only thing you're going to do now is talk for two minutes. Right? So you're going to have to prepare a conversation for two minutes. All right? Van a tener audiencia porque van a tener cinco personas ahí con ustedes. ¿Sí? Vamos a ver si podemos hacer grupos de cinco. Okay, questions? Easy, right? No. You estar ahí escuchándolos. You need any help? Tell me. If you need help, right? Ustedes está, saben cómo levantar la mano aquí, ¿verdad? En Zoom. Levanten la mano. Yeah. If you need help. Okay? Les voy a dar eh, la opción para que puedan compartir pantalla si, si quieren compartir pantalla dentro de su grupo. Okay? All right, uh, vamos a hacer grupos un poquito más grandes. Okay, vamos a hacer cuatro grupos de cinco. Carlos, René, accept the invitation, please. Vayan a los grupos. Ok, very good. So, les recomiendo que empiecen a trabajar en su presentación. Pueden usar Word, PowerPoint, o pueden simplemente hablar. 
Pueden compartir pantalla. Ok. Eh, marquemos el tiempo. Tenemos in my case, 20 minutes. I am, uh, can I only talk? Can I only talk? Yes. But but prepare it, right? You can prepare it in a piece of paper there, wherever you're at, right? Si tienes un papel, you can prepare it. What are the benefits that you can bring to the company? Why? Explain why. Who's good and what? Hey, teacher, just a question. Can we make the conversation maybe is someone, someone of us is the person who is in the interview and the, the other person are the candidates? No, it's, we... it's, listen, it's not an interview. It's not an interview. It's a presentation. Oh, okay. Look, thank you. Presentation, right? So oh, I used to, uh, right? Presentation, so you can say, hello, good evening. Um, I want to present the benefits that I can bring to the company. Oh no, you can start with your name. Hello, my name is Carlos. Thank you for being here. I want to present the benefits that I can bring to the company if you hired me. Okay. okay. All right, very good. So this is tiempo, right? But look, you have only 20 minutes. You have 20 minutes to do it. Thank you. Okay. Guys, apurémonos con el número uno. Okay, guys, we have 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So for a prepare it, maybe take three minutes, three minutes to, to prepare the conversation, and then everybody starts presenting. Uh, you can present, for example, hello, good evening. My name is uh, Carlos. Uh, thank you for being here. I want to present the benefits that I could bring to the company. I can help the company grow because of my experience in blah, blah, blah. And then you have to explain, okay? So, marquen el tiempo. Tenemos solo 20 minutos. Y todos tienen que pasar. Okay? okay. Okay, good evening. Uh, you have 20 minutes to present. Everybody has to present. Everybody has to pass. Uh, you can take two or three minutes to prepare and then the first person that's ready. You can present, for example, hello, good evening. My name is Carlos. Uh, I want to present the benefits that I can bring to the company. Uh, if you hire me, si me contratan, I can help the company grow revenue because of my experience in sales. Blah, 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 and then you start talking, right? Okay. So you have, marquen el tiempo, tienen 20 minutos para que todos pasen. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay hello, good evening. Uh, you have... 20 minutes to, pre to prepare. Okay. okay, so you can say something like this. For example, hello, my name is Carlos. Thank you for being here. I want to explain the benefits that I can bring the company if you, if you hire me. Me contrata. If you hire me, I can help the company grow revenue because of my experience in sales. Ahí empiezan ustedes. ¿eh? Explaining, right? So, okay, okay. Ma marquen el tiempo. Tenemos 20 minutos, 20 minutes. Okay? Let's do it. Okay, Todos tienen okay. que pasar. Todos tienen que pasar. Okay. 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 Eh, good night, guys. Mm, my name is Ana Maria Chacón. And am I going to present you the benefits that your company can obtain by hearing me? Okay. I call help the company according to my experience as a management assistant and salesperson or saleswoman <laughs> in improving the management relationship with the employees 
and with the customers. I call increase uh, sales and I call how satisfied satisf customers with the service that the company provides. Mm. <laughs> <Ali. laughs> <laughs> All right, try to give me a couple of benefits. So Remember the vocabulary, right? That we okay. had. I can uh, look at my look yes. at my my screen. Yes. I will be a great employee. Great. I could help company grow. Don't because mm -hmm. and then you say because, okay. right? Okay, say I call in price. Yes, be I will increase. I think you said this one right. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent, excellent, very good. So prepare your conversation. Excellent, Anna. Very good. If someone wants to go, you can go next. Nobody wants to go? <laughs> yes, yeah, guys. Yeah, Joe. Okay. I, I am. Uh, good evening, guys. I, uh, I am. My name is Ada Casers. I could and the help in my company is a good leader, a good partner, a good training, and a good doctor in cirurgies. Uh, because of the, my experience, I could be my great help in the sales department and good effectively uh, my job uh, for experience. Uh, help generate more business uh, for the company and uh, help create the sales. Okay, very good. Now, Ada, look, you can separate your ideas, right? Okay. You can separate your ideas. So look, okay. for example, yo aquí tengo una idea aquí, right? Aquí okay. tengo otra, aquí tengo otra, okay? So you can separate okay. your ideas. Remember okay. to say I could, and then the benefit of the that you can bring the company. So, <laughs> va a usar would or could, y después el beneficio. Que usted va a traer okay. a la empresa. I would okay. be a good employer. Ahí está el beneficio, good employer. Uh -huh. Or for example, okay. the other one, uh, let me see another one. I could help the company grow. Benefit, that's the benefit for the company, okay? okay. I can help the company grow in other markets because my experience in digital marketing. Yeah. Very good. So, si usted tiene tres o cuatro de estas, ahí está toda la presentación. Okay. 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 Very good. So, tiene que como separar esa idea. Separate each it's idea. Mm -hmm. It's correct to say, I will improve the management relationship with the employee. Okay, yeah. I, I, would improve, I would improve. The word improve. is improve. Mm -hmm. I would improve the manage, management relationship. Mm -hmm. See? I would improve, improve. Okay. Mm -hmm. the management the relationship. Management relationship. Okay, improve. improve. Between, ahí entre, between the employees and, oh. And um, I say I will improve the management relationship with the employees and with the customers. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Quieres decir entre estas dos personas? No, eh, eh, la relación con ah, los okay. empleados y con los clientes. Okay, so you say with. I would improve the relationship, the management relationship mm -hmm. um, with with. With, oh. the, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with the employees mm -hmm. and with the customers. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Very good. So, si tienen unas cuatro de esas, okay. ahí está toda la presentación. Okay. You can do it. Okay. Take some time. Prepare. You can do it again if you want. Okay. okay. If someone we, else is ready, you can go. Me, I guess. Scholarship Service Clinic 
um, life ins insurance only. Oh. Okay, all right, very good. Very good, guys. So look, my recommendation to you is that you have some ideas like this. For example, si ustedes tienen unas cinco, cuatro o cinco de estas, ya lo hicieron. I could help the company grow in other markets because my experience in digital marketing. Okay. Ahí está una. I can help the company increase revenue because of my experience in sales. Ahí está otra. Okay. Uh -huh. So I have benefits. I have the benefits, right? Primero estoy usando la estructura, right? Uh, could or would, and then the benefit, and then because, okay? So si tienen unas cuatro de esas, ya lo hicieron. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, you have 10 minutes, guys, 10 minutes. Marquen el tiempo para que todos pasen, 10 minutes. Okay, only. Mm -hmm. Ah, René. Okay, René, you? Um, what? I call from. What benefit do we, do we mean? Okay, presentation, guys. Si, oh. si, si tienen unas cuantas de estas, si tienen cuatro de estas, ya lo hicieron. Right? For example, okay. I would be a good manager because of my experience in other departments. I could help the company grow in other markets because of my experience in digital marketing. I would be a great asset to the company because my experience working in big projects. Ahí está. Si tienen unas cuatro de esas, ahí está todo. Questions? Questions? No. No. Okay. ¿Quién pasó ya? Rina. Nadie. Eh, yo pasé una, Rina también. Ah, ok. Very good. All right. ¿Quién, quién falta? Tienen 10 eh, minutos, 10 minutes. Ah, René, Miguel y, y Débora. Eh. Okay, voy yo entonces. Okay. okay, if you hire me in the company, I could help generate more monthly sales. And with my experience in the develop, development and design of system, I could help create competitive systems in the market um, to provide an adequate image customer. With my experience as a supervisor, I could help strengthen team work and make all employers be happy to work for the company. Excellent, very good, Miguel. Excellent job. Okay, okay very good. ¿Quiénes faltan? Do it again. And then uh, Rina and Fernando, if you want to do it again, you can do it again. Okay. Most. Okay. Hello. 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 ¿Alguien está presentando? Isela. Yeah. Alguien va a presentar. Ajá. Ya Sandra y está en su completo su presentación, but we are happy to see the long term work. No te escucho, no te escucho muy bien. Sela, no se le escucha muy bien. Tal vez un poquito más cerca. Ajá. Okay, I'm sorry, but now Sandra is trying to to make her presentation. We are only help, helping her to pronounce some words. Okay, okay, very good. Okay. And hey. she, she also has another question. Okay. Hey Sandra, do you have any questions? No. Okay. Very good. Hey, Jose, ya pasó? 
Jose this year trying to create his. his oh, come on. But look, I'm going to give you more ideas. Look, look at my presentation. I would be a great okay. asset to the company because my experience working in big projects, big projects. I would help increase customer satisfaction because of my experience in quality control. I could help the company generate more business because of my experience with people in the industry. You can say whatever you want. I used that vocabulary. Okay? Yeah. You just have to yeah. add your own reason. Right? Ahí solo agregale tu razón. Why? Because. You have to say because. Because. Mm -hmm. You have to use because. Okay? Okay. So, what, what was your question, Sandra, about the pronunciation and about, about the word? But I don't, I don't remember. ¿Cuál era la, la palabra que quería saber cómo se pronunciaba, Sandra? Ah, estrategia. Estrategia. Estrat Strategy. 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 G. Como la letra G en inglés. G. Strategy. Strategy. Okay. Elvin, ¿ya pasó? No. All right, let's hear Elvin. Let's let's hear Elvin because we only have five minutes. Okay. One more. Uh huh. Hello, my name is Elvin Aichaval. Uh, I I am uh, an engineer. Um, uh, I could uh, if you uh, I could um, if you hire me. Yeah. Si me contrata. Me? If you hire me. If you hire me, I could. Uh, I could you help the company um, mm -hmm. uh, save money because I because my experience in an, an another department is very very big. I I stayed in production and engineer. It, I now. What is the trying the people? Um, only that. Ah, uh, come on, you can do more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, very good. Look, guys, eh, solo nos quedan cinco minutos. Okay. Necesitamos empezar ya a regresar para tomar la asistencia. Tengo la sesión. Eh, uno a uno con otra persona, ¿verdad? Ahora sería Ada. No, no creo que está aquí en este grupo. Ok. Ok, José, te damos un minuto. ¿Ready? I'm finished. You finished, ya pasaste. Uh, yeah. Ah, ok, all right, very good. No te escuché. Hey, uh, um, hello, my name is José. Yes, I am a captain. You hear you, you me? I could keep the final statements up to date mm -hmm. because the assets of the company will increase. Finish. Oh, no, that was only one reason. <laughs> only, only one benefit. Only one benefit to the company. Okay, guys, we're gonna go back now. Um, lo siento, tenemos que regresar para marcar el tiempo. No sé si alguien tiene preguntas, questions. No. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, who is going to be the first? Jose or Roberto? No, that's it. Ya vamos a regresar a la sesión. Vamos a terminar. Okay, okay.
We are. Okay, very good, guys. All right. So, el mejor recurso que tienen es ustedes mismos, ¿sí? Ya que yo no puedo estar ahí con ustedes. En todo, ¿verdad? Yo no puedo estar con ustedes dos horas. Pero sí, ustedes se tienen uno al otro. Y es el mejor recurso que tienen. Ok, very good. Uh, Ada, Azucena. Present teacher. Ana María Chacón. Present. Carla Ivania. Carla. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Claudia Marisela Solano. Present. Present. Okay. Thank you. Débora Raquel Soto. Present. Elvin Martínez. Present. Thank you. Fátima López. Fátima López. La vi. La vi anteriormente. No sé si tuvo problemas. Tiene problemas del internet, dice. Ok. Yeah. Fernando Ernesto. Present. José Antonio Cubías. Present. José Saúl González. Present. Okay. Carla Janet Amaya. Carla Janet. Eh, Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz. Present. Miriam Carolina. Present. René Alfonso Madrid. Present. Rina Álvarez. Present. Sabrina Latín. Sandra Elise Perosorto. Present. William Alexander. Present. Ok, oyentes. Isela. Isela Liliana. Ok, Karina Beatriz. Here. Ok, thank you. And Oyente. Just... Uh, present teacher. All right. All right. Very good, guys. Excellent job. Um, eh, I'm going to put the photo there. Okay. So ya tenemos dos lecciones. Usamos can and can't ayer. Y ahora usamos could and would. Okay. Should. Y should. Yo se, lo, yo se lo di ahí extra, ¿verdad? Porque es algo que se usa también. Y todo el vocabulario ¿sí? que, que hemos usado. Ok, so, eh, voy a poner dos preguntas de foro. Voy a poner una hora en la noche. Voy a poner otra mañana después que esté el video y allí. Eh, los videos yo los pongo en la noche en la lista de reproducción de YouTube, pero en la plataforma están hasta el día siguiente. Ok, preguntas, questions. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Um, ahora se va a quedar. Hold on. Um, ahora se queda. Adam. Ok. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Hello, Ada. Hello, teacher. How are you? Um, more good. or less. <laughs> okay, very good. What I, do you I, What do you do? What, what What is your occupation? I am a doctor. I am ah. a cirurgian. A very very cirurgian. Ah, okay. <laughs> Oh. Ay, ay. Excellent. Eh, uh, eh, precisamente iba a preguntarle sobre esto, el uso del cool y el good, uh -huh. eh, porque generalmente se pueden usar eh, casi siempre eh, en situaciones iguales, ¿no? Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cómo vamos uh -huh. a diferenciarlo? ¿En qué momento usarlo? Sí, este, ya en lo que es, es spoken English, es decir, ya inglés conversacional, no hay mucha diferencia. Uh -huh. Pero si, uh -huh. si, quieres, si quieres notar la diferencia, could es tengo. más para eventos, ¿verdad? Right? Eventos y acciones posibles. Pero would... Es algo que va a pasar. Uh -huh. No, um, sí. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, I could help the company. ¿Verdad? Right? Uh -huh. Algo que puede pasar. 
no ha pasado, sino que es algo que puede pasar. Uh, would tal vez sería como un poquito más eh, subjetivo, más imaginario, algo que te puedes imaginar. Okay. Uh -huh. I would be a good sale representative. Okay. Uh -huh. Yo podría ser un buen representante de mí. So, es, es más como subjetivo. Okay. Es algo como deseo. Sí, ¿No? puede ser un deseo y también como algo que te estás como imaginando positivamente, ¿sí? Okay. So, aquí hay dos ejemplos, right? I could be a good sales representative. Implica un poco más acción, mm -hmm. ¿sí? Mm -hmm. Implica un poco más acción lo que yo puedo hacer. I could be. Okay. Eh, en y el Estados... otro es el deseo de serlo. Ajá. Y el otro es como deseo, ¿sí? I would be a good sales representative. Es más como un deseo que tengo, algo subjetivo, algo imaginar. Para imaginado. lograrlo primero. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. O sea, es un deseo que yo, uh -huh. para que se cumpla el primero. Por decirlo así. Sí, sí, pero no es necesario que tú digas los dos. Okay. No es necesario que tú digas, I would be a good sales representative, so I could be a good sales representative. Sería, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Repetitivo, pero eh, recuerda que ya en spoken English, en inglés conversacional, no marca mucho diferencia. Okay. Right? Te van a entender 100% bien. Si tú usas, I could be a good sales representative or I would be a good sales representative. Y es necesario, va en el caso de la corrección que usted me hacía aquí. Uh -huh. eh, porque yo aquí desea, va, digamos, deseo que uh -huh. en el caso de apoyar a, porque yo trabajo con una compañía aparte de, 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 de médico, una uh -huh. compañía que vende productos para cirugía mínima invasiva. En el caso de que yo quería help in sales, allí tendría que ser I would I would be eh, sales, help the mm. sales o department. No, I, I could help. I could help. Mm -hmm. Increase sales. Ok. I sí, could porque help es algo que yo desearía porque no soy, vea. De ser parte de este departamento para poder ayudar a crear más marketing o crear más negocio o ventas. Sí, uh -huh. sí, sí correcto. Okay. So ahí está la estructura correcta. I could help increase sales. Sí. Ok. Now, ¿qué pasa si tú usarías I would help increase sales? Eh, es igual, Algo simplemente subjetivo. es más subjetivo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, Ahí. porque es algo que nada más deseo, pero que no lo voy a poner en la práctica. Uh -huh. Es Se más, así. como un, uh -huh. un buen deseo que tengo. ¿sí? Un buen deseo. Una buena idea que tengo. Es difícil, pero no es imposible. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Correct. Okay. Right, so these are, these are other vocabulary, right? That we okay. saw. Okay. No sé si tienes preguntas, alguno de estos. Mm, no. Ok. Right, so, esta es la estructura que usamos para, al principio. I would be a good sales representative and help increase sales. Mm -hmm. Después le agregamos el because. Mm -hmm. Right? Para sí, explicar por qué. Por qué. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Es donde, en donde exponemos ya toda nuestra experience, ¿no? Mm -hmm. Because my experience. Y en el, el caso de, de exponer eh, experience, eh, tienen que ser individualizadas, no en así. Sí, tiene que ser juntas. Algún... Exacto. Para que no. nos entiendan en la conversación, no tenemos que obligadamente usar I good, I could, para que nos entiendan en la conversación. Eh, ¿Tú te refieres aquí al inicio? No, en el caso que me decía usted aquí, que yo eh, con, tenía experiencia. Quería que todo, todas las ideas estaban juntas. Pues no se pueden presentar así en la conversación. No, no, por ejemplo. Aunque yo las separe por coma, ¿vale? porque en, la, en, lo, en el español nosotros podemos decir, yo puedo usar la máquina de escribir, yo puedo usar la computadora. O sea, solo ah, lo vamos yeah, a estar I... separando. Yeah. No podemos conversar así. Sí, eh, si tú vas a usar Word, right? No puedes decir, no puedes juntar muchas ideas juntas. Por ejemplo, no puedes decir... I would help the company save money. 
assist customers, increase sales. Vas a estar ahí. ¿Verdad? Sí se, sí se puede. Ajá, sí se, se puede, puede, ¿verdad? Sí se puede. Pero, pero igual, ¿verdad? La idea era que tú explicaras el porqué de cada una. La que tú vas okay. a usar. ¿verdad? Pero en una conversación con, con otra persona sí lo puedo ir separando como por comas, digamos. O Ajá. hacer la pausa en comas, si se uh -huh. puede. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Hay, por ejemplo, puedes decir, I could help the company increase sales, coma, assist customers, coma, eh, grow in other Ah, solo que la última, si es la última idea, tenemos que agregarle no una coma, sino and. Mm -hmm. And. Y. Y. Mm -hmm. And grow in other markets. Ok, so ahí para, están las ideas. Juntos. Y para exponer otra experiencia, en el caso de que sean otras tres, puedo volver a empezar a cool y crear otras, y poner otras experiencias. Sí, es mejor, sí, es mejor. Que empiece de nuevo porque si no ya es muy largo. ¿sí? Y no se va a, dar, no se va a entender la, la, uh -huh. la conversación. En realidad right. se va a confundir todo. Uh -huh. okay. Correct. Correct. Now, ¿Qué pasa si yo quiero usar estas cuatro que están aquí? Right? Digamos. Uh -huh. Entonces yo, hay, unas, hay un tipo de palabras que usamos en el inglés que se llaman linking words. Uh -huh. Linking words. right? Uh -huh. Linking words son pal palabras para unir ideas. Entonces uh -huh. puedo usar... First, primeramente, mm -hmm. right? Uh, also, también, also. Uh, also. Uh, podría agregar um, additional, additionally, adicionalmente, okay? mm -hmm. and then I can, I can, okay. finally, finalmente, mm -hmm. ¿Sí? va a ser mi última idea, finally. Mm -hmm. ¿Sí? Ya con eso. Y tengo entiende? que mencionarlas para separarlas. Sí, tenés que separarlas. ¿sí? Es como ah, okay. pon, pon, poner el clutch. Ah, okay. Cuando estás manejando de cambios. <risa> sí. ¿Vale? Le metes el clutch para cambiar. ¿sí? Entonces, sí. Right? So, yo, por ejemplo, right? si yo te estuviera presentando, well, first I would help, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, first I would be a good sales representative and help increase sales because my experience in bla, bla, bla. Okay. Also, I could be a good team player and motivate others because of my experience in. Okay. Additionally, and then I empezó. Okay. Así. Así. Eso se llama linking words, ¿sí? Porque tengo varias ideas y quiero explicar. Uh -huh. Entonces, correct, right? Pero quizás se escucha mejor con, la, con las otras que estamos practicando. ¿Cuál? ¿Con estas? Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí. No, uh -huh. como lo acabamos de ver, ¿verdad? como fue anterior, como ah. que, oh, que yo voy explicando uh -huh. más detalladamente. Sí, puedes agrupar ideas. ¿sí? Ok, agrupación de uh -huh. ideas. Uh -huh. um, I can help the company, right? In, increase sales y ahí nombrar varias cosas, ¿sí? Pero uh -huh. eh, tenés que explicar el por qué okay? de todo uh -huh. esto. Lo puedes agrupar. Right? I can help mm -hmm. the company increase sales, save money, mm -hmm. um, grow in and grow in other markets. Share money, share marketing. Okay. Now, okay. igual, tienes que explicar aquí, because of my experience as a doctor, como doctora, right? As of my experience as a doctor. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You can explain it. Yes. This is, yeah. this is okay too. Solamente, uh, yo te recomiendo que hagas una pausa al final, ¿sí? De aquí, cuando llegues aquí al final. Stop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. si vas a continuar con otra de estas, entonces ponerle el clutch. Ok. Right? Se le pueden poner, combinar. Ajá. Le puedes poner oh. un linking word, una de estas palabras, finally, next. Y yo para siempre, finalizar. Finally. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, finalmente. Finalmente. Uh -huh. finalmente. Sí, ¿por qué? Porque la, el oyente va a marcar y va a decir, ah, esta es la última idea. Finally. Aquí okay. va a terminar ella. ¿sí? 
Y que termine ya, va a decir. Entonces tú vas ayudando a la persona a que te entienda, te entiende, perdón, claramente. Ok, perfecto. Porque mira, hay, una, hay un tema del inglés que nosotros lo, lo hacemos acá, que es eh, thought organization. Uh -huh. Ok, so yo, te, yo te doy vocabulario, yo te doy gramática, yo te doy palabras, frases y te doy la orden de esas frases a través de la gramática. Pero el thought organization, poder uh -huh. expresar esas ideas es el trabajo que tú haces. ¿Sí? Entonces aquí es donde tú tienes que tener fluidez. Fluidez es... Eso es lo que todo el mundo quiere, ¿sí? En el inglés. Yo quiero ser fluido. ¿sí? Quiero ser, hablar fluidamente, ¿sí? Pero fluency es una combinación de esas tres cosas, ¿verdad? Right? ¿De qué? Vocabulary, grammar, y thought organization. Tengo que tener esas, sí. esas tres cosas, ¿sí? Sí, porque es bien importante la gramática para darse a entender, pues, como en español, creo yo. Y en inglés creo que es más difícil. Porque eh, teníamos a veces inconvenientes en, los, en las tareas de la plataforma con el apóstrofe. Entonces ahí generalmente siempre nos salían malas las, las, las respuestas por el uso del apóstrofe. Yeah. Sí, 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 por las contracciones. Las contracciones. Pero, Ajá. Entonces en lo que tú vas progresando, tenés que tener, pa, la, la meta es fluid, fluidez. Esa es, la es lo más difícil. Okay. Pero es difícil si solamente tenés una de estas tres cosas. Las tres uh -huh. cosas tienen que funcionar a la misma vez. Sí, como todo, todo es un, eh, todo. Un todo. Uh -huh. Bueno, tú estás hablando y presentando, estás haciendo un role play, una actividad. Las tres cosas van juntas. Ok. Si, si te falta vocabulario, pero tener gramática y thought organization, no vas a, no vas a progresar, ¿sí? Porque sí, vas a estar buscando. Que vas a estar buscando ese vocabulario. No vas a poder completar tu idea. Si tenés gramática, pero no tenés vocabulario, es igual, ¿me entiendes? Van, van juntas estas tres cosas. Sí, es, como, sí. es como una silla, esas sillitas que tienen tres patitas. <risa> no sé, no decía, sí. no, nos decían los teachers anteriores que, Ajá. o sea, no es solo el hecho de quedarnos con la clase, ¿verdad? Eh, hay que escuchar audio, hay que leer mucho, pues, porque para complementar y tener a veces que preguntar, porque a veces sí. uno no pregunta porque no sabe, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Como usted me está diciendo ahorita. Sí. Y todo lleva un orden, pues, para, para poderse eh, organizar y que todo lo, lo más difícil en realidad para mí creo que es la pronunciación, la escritura y todo lo demás, creo que a todos se nos facilita. Pero el pronunciar, porque a veces el pronunciar una A por una I o una I por una E, Sí. Eso es lo más difícil. Sí, el inglés tiene, el inglés tiene, tiene, es especialmente las vocales, ¿sí? Las eh, vocales. Las vocales en inglés tienen sonidos cortos, sonidos largos, y hay otra vocal que es un sonido solamente, ni encaja en vocal, pero es un sonido. Es el sonido, no sé si has escuchado cuando dicen, ah, ah, uh -huh. ah, como por ejemplo, banana, ah. Uh -huh. Ese sonido al final, ese se llama show up en inglés. Y es un sonido adicional, es una vocal que se ha evolucionado en el inglés, pero ni es vocal. Sí. Entonces todo esto cuesta, pero yo, eh, yo mejor prefiero que tengan vocabulario y gramática en este nivel, ¿sí? que se enfoquen mucho en la pronunciación. Sí, sí, sí. Porque ahorita la pronunciación no es, no, es lo, no es lo primero. Eso va a venir en los niveles más adelante. ¿sí? Okay, okay. Porque imagínate, y, ya ahora ya, ya puedes word and could y ya tienes vocabulario. Ahora te puedes enfocar en la, en la pronunciación de esta, de, esta, de esta lección. sí okay. Pero imagínate si empezamos con pronunciación y no les explico could and would. Sí. Entonces, sería bien difícil, ¿sí? Entonces, empieza con gramática, vocabulario, la conversación y después la pronunciación. Perfecto. Ok, perfecto. Como un elemento de música para que suena bonito. Sí, es de constancia. 
Ok, bueno, sí, no sé si tienes no, otra pregunta. No, solamente de la, de la discusión que, me, que decía que vamos a, a hacer en la plataforma. Sí, um, voy a poner en el, en, allí en el foro, eh, la, el de ayer, ¿verdad? Porque este no va a estar uh -huh. hasta mañana. Pero voy a poner una pregunta como, por ejemplo, eh, what are your abilities? Uh -huh. Allí se acuerda. Can lo quisieron ayer. Uh -huh. Can o can't. Can or can't. Uh -huh. okay. right. What are your abilities? Uh -huh. right. Una pregunta así me puedes escribir tres cosas. Que, ah, what, okay. I can type. I can use a computer. Right. Okay, perfect. Okay, Ada. All I'm right. Bueno, Thank you. Good night. Have Thank a good you. night. Bye bye. Yeah. Good night.